Sam, I am pleased to meet you again so we can continue our conversation. Pleasure is mine. Thanks for having me again, Dave. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I'll have to turn off the TV so we can talk. Yes please. Yesterday was our last day discussing challenging and unanswered questions. Before we get started, let's pray that God will continue to lead us in our discourse. Dave, no trouble. Feel free to pray. Let's humble ourselves and pray, Heavenly Father, please guide us in knowing you more, guide our thoughts and desires, and help find first your kingdom and righteousness and all things will be added unto us, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The weather is nice outside, so let's go there and carry on conversation. That sounds like the right choice. Indeed outside here the is really good. Thank you for the choice. I'm happy you find it pleasant. Sam, let's get back to the topic at hand. Please impart to me what you have read. Yes Dave, I read about God creating a man and a woman on his image. These ones later disappointed God by eating the forbidden fruit after being deceived by a talking serpent. Oh well well, what a wonderful and thoughtful summary. Well done Sam. You have said it all. Thanks Dave, I tried. That is basically the fall of man. When God created Adam and Eve, he desired them to live forever with him, Satan, the rebellious angel who was thrown from heaven with his demons decided to deceive the man so he could sin against his God. That is interesting, tell me more. But God loved the man so much that he decided to reconcile with him through the blood of Jesus. Okay, now I understand why you love John 3.16. Oh yes, that explains God's love. Remember John 1, 1 says it from the beginning there was a word and the word was with God? Yes, I do recall that. Do you want to inform me that Jesus is the word? I remember reading that in Luke chapter 1 verse 35 that Jesus was conceived supernaturally by the Holy Spirit into a virgin named Mary. That's right Sam. Jesus came to redeem us. Because we all had sinned and fell short of the glory of God Romans chapter 3 verse 23 to 24. Hmm. That clarifies how, in spite of our differences and backgrounds, we are all in need of God's mercy and forgiveness. Dave go on. Jesus the one who created the man was the one to redeem him when man sinned against God. God is too holy and can't abide with sin. Okay, it is all making sense, please continue. In order to redeem us, Jesus had to live like a man. Here on earth he left all the splendor of heaven. Oh Dave, that is so wonderful of Jesus. And then what? Thus, while he was here, in the world that we now live in, he overcame Satan, died on cross in our place, and now back in heaven. Oh, thank you Jesus for accepting to die for us. Amen. While on earth, Jesus started his ministry and chose disciples. One day while speaking to them, he forewarned them of how he will be separated from them. Really? So Jesus had disciples. Yes, twelve of them. The disciples were troubled by the news, so Jesus told them in John chapter 14 verse 1 until 4 not to be troubled as he is not going to leave them forever. Rather will go and prepare a place for them including mansions. Oh I understand, so the mansions are just for his disciples? No Sam, whoever believes in Jesus is his disciple. As longer as they walk with him and obey his commandments. Oh that's a relief. We all have mentions for free and many more extraordinary things in heaven, including eternal life with God as he had initially intended to. What a great story Dave. So in a few words you are telling me that whoever believes in Jesus and does his will will have eternal life and will have a mansion in heaven? That's true Sam. Salvation is personal and everyone works for their own. Do you see why you can't choose one for your wife? She has to work for hers. Oh. Wondering how to convince her? It's simple. We have been saved by grace, and if we accept Jesus as our personal savior we are automatically God's children and we will have everything we need. Dave much appreciated for your time and your patience. Sam, it's alright. Let's stay in touch. The sixth episode of the Don't Miss Out series has come to an end. 
We sincerely hope that you have found this series to be useful and educational. Both parties engaged in an in-depth conversation that was profound, and then they prayed before leaving one another. Dear listeners and viewers as you have heard, getting a mansion in heaven might be simple or difficult depending on each individual. If we choose to walk with Jesus it is that simple. Let's constantly remember to pray for one another in all that we do. By consistently pleading with our Heavenly Father to guide us as we study or read His Holy Word. By keeping in mind to read what it is written in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. Last but not least, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share most importantly, stay blessed.